Warning, sensitive images. At that moment, he yanked the axe from the neck of his friend and put it on his own neck. Oh. But the other friend yanked it back from him. Oh. <laughs> and then both of them were yanking back and forth, back and forth. <laughs> and wrestling with each other, determined to take the axe away for themselves. Wow. Both of them demanded that it is for him to die. And then from the uh, window of the palace, the king saw such a thing, John Spain. He was shocked yeah, and surprised, facing such an incredible friendship like that. Yes. It is above and beyond anything that he has ever seen mm. in his life up to now. Not only the king, but all his court officials were all very, very, very surprised, very uh, shocked. So the king ordered the axe to be taken away. And then he released the both of them. Oh. Wow. Well, he should, my God. They, they did nothing wrong. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. We just presumed to be. Mm. And spy, but he's not, right? Right. Yes. So after that, the king gifted them with many, many beautiful presents and valuable gifts. And then he also announced, well, I have never seen such a love like this between two friends. And I wish that I myself become a friend of both of you. <laughs> you understood, huh? Yes. yes. Not to vex him to listen to my <laughs> copy speak. Okay. No, 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 no. So the king wanted to become friends with these two friends. <laughs> both of them. Uh. Yeah. Facing this kind of request from the king, the two friends has no choice but have to happily accept. <laughs> 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 have to happily accept it. Yeah, okay. Right, end of the story. Very good story. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Thank you, Master. Wonderful, wonderful. Wow. Yes. Good story, yes. There is another similar story in one uh, thousand and one nights also. Mm. Oh. Okay. Isn't that nice to have such a selfless and noble friendship? Yes, yes. 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 You could find such a friend in your life? Yeah. In the whole world that you have such a friend? Yeah? yeah. Yes. Yeah, my God. I say it to you already, not even family members are always willing and ready to die for the other family members. Yeah, yes. that's right. This I wish the Ukrainian and the Russian people develop this kind of friendship. Right. I wish that they could develop this friendship. Dying for each other, not making others die. Yes, yes Master. Master. If he have to die, die for the others, not to make others die and suffer. I hope the Russians hear me. I hope Putin hears me. They thank me so much that I don't even know day from night. Mm. Oh. I can't even... It well, it tastes like nothing, the food at the moment. Um. Yeah, the other day I told you I was disappointed because the food didn't taste good. I thought it was only that day oh. because I was uh, disillusioned watching the uh, yummy and mouth-watering cooking show. And then I went and made a sandwich and it tasted like nothing. I thought because <laughs> it's not the same food, it's not the same food as on Supreme Master Television. Mm. Right. But it continued this way. Oh. Oh. Yeah, before that and after that. Uh, I have food, I just don't even look at it. Don't feel good. My God, I think too much of the people who die suddenly. <sighs> okay, the innocent, the pure ones, we can take care of their souls. But those who die too fast, 
and they did not have time to prepare to clean themselves, they have trouble. Oh. They are wandering around or floating on top of hell or don't even know what's happening to them. Oh. Oh. And that is the dead. And the living also do not fare better. Your fellow initiate in Ukraine wrote to me uh, saying that many places don't have water, don't have any food, nothing. Oh. Mm. <laughs> they're trapped in the war zone and they can't get out. They have no means to get out. They don't have telephones or anything. Oh, no. Because many places where the Russian soldiers have been, they took away their phones, they took away everything. They took also oh. their money, their food also, because they were hungry. Oh. The Russian army was hungry. Yeah. Maybe the supply was not sufficient. And they were cold. And one woman said, they're so strange. They took her clothes to wear. Oh, wow. wow. Yeah, because maybe the army uniform is not warm enough. Oh. Yeah, and they took their food to eat and they took their blankets. They took also their money. After they left the house, she told the reporters, some of the reporters. Uh, and it's reported on the news. I just saw the brief caption. Her village was overrun by Russians, and she described dealing with Russian soldiers who were hungry, cold, and out of control. She said, they wore my woman's hat, my coat, my boots. They wore our clothes. They took our bedding. I don't know what they've done with it. They slept, they ate, they wandered about. They stole our money. A Russian soldier, whom she said was drunk, blasted her husband's leg off with a stolen shotgun. So many stories. It's a terrible, terrible story. So all these people, they're hungry. The Russian soldiers are hungry. The Ukrainian people are hungry. And the refugees they went to some countries and had to put up with many situations. Yes. Yeah, that's fine. Because of the logistic problem, the influx of the refugees creates problems for the host countries as well. Mm. Yes. yes, I understand. Because of uh, logistics and infrastructure. So they are cold or so they're hungry when maybe not enough food or have cold food, not like warm, not like at home. Yes. And not the way they want it and not what they want. Yes. And yes. the children maybe have no milk. Oh man, and have no food and oh and get wet or cold in the snow when it melts and all that and when it rains. Imagine it's you, okay? Yes, yes, Master. And some refugees went to the UK and it took so long for the visa. What for they have to take so long? Just them and let them in, man. Mm. Yes. yes. Many countries waive their visa, you see, waive the bureaucracy for the refugees from Ukraine. UK should do that too. Yes. Right. Yes. Oh, man. They should do that because UK was also one of the guarantors of Ukraine's sovereignty and peace. When they make Ukraine give up all their nuclear weapons. Oh, yes, yeah. Master. And the Ukrainian people loving peace and innocent, gave it all away. That's how now they have become helpless victims. Mm, yes, yes, yes master. master. If they also have nuclear weapons, maybe they could use it as a threat. Yes, right. Master. But they have nothing, just some very little weapons. And the West did not help much. Now they are helping more and they pledged to help more. But before, they had nothing almost, or very little against the big army of Russia. Mm. Yes. yes. All right. It's terrible things, and I cannot get all of this out of my head. I try to. When I'm working, I forget. When I'm not, I try to get something to eat. It doesn't taste good. Just oh. today, I warmed up my food, but it's still there. Oh. Yeah. I wanted to eat, but I did not feel like it. And then we have conference, and then, so I forgot all about it. Before that, there was something else, so 
I didn't have time to eat. And then when I wanted to eat, I did not feel like it. And now we have a conference, so I thought, uh, forget about it. I don't feel like eating even now, even now. Not that I have eaten anything since I don't know when. You see, war affects everybody, yeah? Mm, yes, Master. And I'm very sensitive with all this. I'm so sensitive. I imagine everything. I saw all the babies, children dying, people, their heads blown away and their arms broken, just dying on the street in the dirt like that, through no fault of their own. Nothing. They have done nothing wrong. And I saw all that, you know, on the screen and... Uh, it makes me sleepless. I was very tired last night even. I wanted to sleep, but I could not. I could not even meditate very well. Oh. It is very terrible for me. Mm. I hope the war ends soon, otherwise I don't know if... Mm. I asked heaven, why don't you just kill me? Because I don't know how long I can bear all this suffering in the world. Uh, so I wish people would have such a friendship like this. Yeah. In Vietnam, we have a famous, uh, oh, I don't know if it's Vietnamese or Chinese, uh, who is the one that went, his friend went away, he put up the bed. He didn't let anybody sleep on it. Quang Trọng, huh? Who was it, the two friends? Quang Trọng Bao Su Ya. Quang Trọng Bao Su Ya. They're both very, very close friends. And whenever... His friends gone away. I think Bao Su Ya, huh? Went away, then Quan Chong. Or Quan Chong went away, and then one of the friends went away. The other friend hung the bed up so that nobody would sleep on it. Only for his friend. Mm. And then when uh, they did business together, and one of the friends took more profit than him, and people criticized him. They say, oh, he's cheating you. He took more money than he should have. So he said, no, he has elderly and sick mother. He has to take care. That's why he must take more money. Yes, yes. Master, Master. Not that he would say, oh, yeah, he cheated me, yeah? He knew. Mm. <laughs> Even though his friend didn't say anything. But he defended his friend. Yes, yes. yes Master. He said, no, he has a mother. Is that totally correct, what I said? Yes. Uh, yeah, if not, please tell me so we can change it, yeah? It's our story, so we can always <laughs> change it. <laughs> if I'm a, a politician or something, this won't do, huh? It will be on the newspaper, and then we'll say, ah, she doesn't even know what she's talking about. <laughs> 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 Impeach her. <laughs> so she must be working with Russia. <laughs> yeah? yeah? That's why she didn't care what she tell us. <laughs> she say <said> anything. <laughs> Must be colluding with Russia. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Like Trump, you know? That's what they say about Trump, yeah? Yes. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So scary, this political stuff. Hãy subscribe cho